What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I'm that props girl and I'm all about helping non-professional theatre makers, props designers, hobby crafters and decorators create unique props and decor. And today we are going to be making a fake pretzel. Now this is something that was requested of me a couple of years ago and again on a recent Q&A that I did on my Instagram and I thought why not because I've never done it before and I am super keen. I've actually made pretzels in real life so with dough uh, and so I remember the process being more tricky than I thought um, mainly just the shaping of it so we'll see how we go but if you are keen to see that then stick around be sure to smash the like button as it lets me know you want to see more content like this as well as consider hitting that subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss a single one of my uploads and with all that said and done let's jump straight into this video <laughs> So this is really, really easy. We are using air drying clay, which I love to use. If you've been following my channel for any stretch of time, you guys will know that. I like to use a Crayola brand, but really any brand will work, uh, and is so long as it's in the white variety. So I started by rolling out the air drying clay and I needed a little bit more than I thought I did. And that is again to make that shape. So uh, my piece ended up being around about 30 centimeters. I'm not sure what that is in inches. Uh, I might pop it down in the comments if I figure that one out. Uh, I'll look it up later. It was so simple. Honestly, all I did next was just shape it and I started at the bottom, which is where the curve is, and then I looped it around the top to make that sort of love heart shape and then it just twisted the middle pieces so they interlocked and then placed them down. Now there were a few little cracks and imperfections in the air drying clay. So I just put in with some water and just sort of use that to diffuse those areas out. That's a little tip that you can use to just get rid of those imperfections. And it also helps the clay to bind a bit better on those joins. As air drying clay is air drying, uh, you can just leave it to set and that's that. If you do want to speed up the process, I did this in my last video. You can pop it in the oven on a very low temperature if you have a fan forced oven. And I sit mine around 50 degrees Celsius and I just sit in there for a couple of hours and that dries it out nicely depending on the thickness of your air drying clay. But you will need to keep an eye on it though uh, because if it heats too quickly, it will end up cracking. Once that was dry, I went in with some acrylic paint and I used a brown color here just to give it that nice burnt texture.
Now to make the salt on top, I am just going to get a paintbrush. You can potentially flick a paintbrush, but depending on how much paint you've got on your paintbrush, you might end up with blobs. Another method that you could use if you actually wanted the salt to stick up would be how I did my fake sprinkles, which I did in my fake donuts video and in one of my fake ice cream cones videos. And I used white loom bands, but you could use white elastic bands, like those really, really tiny ones and chop them up and just sprinkle them over the top with some Mod Podge and they will stick down nicely. And speaking of Mod Podge, you guys know what's coming next. I coated the finished product in Mod Podge, which seals it in nicely. It also in increases the longevity of the item. And that was that. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys like it too. Let me know in the comments what you think about that one and be sure to smash the like button and consider hitting that subscribe button bell if you did enjoy this video. I would love to know what you guys would like to see next from me. So as I said, drop me a comment down below with your thoughts and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.